my name is Yahaya, and today we'll be going through a short flow that I like to do as a dad to keep my mind and my body strong. We're going to begin laying on our backs. I'll meet you there. Let's begin. Good. Once you're on your back, make sure that you're comfortable. Try to soften your muscles, your bones, your joints. Good, relax your shoulders and your hips. And just take a moment here. We're gonna be here for about 10 more breaths. Focus on each breath that you take. This is a very gentle posture that allows us to settle down and notice what's going on in our body and our mind. Good, you're welcome to close your eyes or keep them open. Very good. Finish with one deep breath here. Good, and if you close your eyes, open them. Bring your knees in towards your chest and hold on to your shins. Good. And from here, you can make your way up into a seated position. Good. And for your seated position, make sure that you're comfortable. So I'm using two pillows here. And you can cross your legs. Good. So again, most important thing is that you're comfortable. Once you're in your seat, rest your hands on your knees. Try to lengthen your spine, sit as tall as you can. And I invite you to close your eyes. Good. And let's begin to move. Bring your arms beside your body. As you breathe in, lift your arms up and look up. If you can, touch your palms together. And exhale, bring your arms back down to the ground. Good. Inhale, take your arms up. As you take them up, look up. Exhale. Bring your fingertips back beside your body. Good, one more like that. Breathe in, go up. And breathe out, bring your hands back down. Very good. Let's open up the side of the body now. I'm gonna mirror you here. As you inhale, lift your right arm up. Good, and exhale, take a side stretch to your left. Good, so still press down through your seat. Keep your chest open. Good. And have about one more breath here. Nice. Start to come back to neutral. Release your right arm down. Keep your spine long. Lift your left arm up and go to your right. Very good. We're here for one more breath. Keep your chest open. Come back to the center and release your left hand down. Nice. Let's continue. Bring your arms just behind your body. Be on your fingertips and lift your chest up and start to look up towards the ceiling. Nice. So here you allow your chest to open, the front of your neck to open. Soften your shoulders down and take one more breath. Good. Come back down. And here now, bring your arms in front of your body and gently walk them away. Good. Coming into a forward fold, tuck your chin in slightly. Good. Allow your shoulders to be soft and take three more breaths. Good, start to walk your hands back towards your body, come up to sit. And last pose here, 
Inhale, take your arms up. And as you exhale, twist to your right. Bring your left hand to your right knee. Good, and you can use your right arm behind you for balance. Nice, keep your shoulders soft and your spine long. Take one more breath as you twist. On your next inhale, come back to the center, take your arms up and exhale, twist to your left. Good, this time your right arm on your left knee and your left arm behind you. Awesome, we're here for one more breath. Keep your spine long. As you inhale, come back to the center, arms up and release your hands to your knees. Very good. From here, you can lay onto your back. Good, first lay, extend your legs and your arms. And now bend your knees and plant your feet flat. Try to have your heels as close to your seat as possible. Good, and we'll begin with some moving bridges. As you inhale, lift your hips and your arms as high as you can take them. And as you exhale, bring them back down to the ground. Good, we'll do four more just like that. Inhale, take your arms up, take your hips up, and release it down. Good, try to breathe as you move. Inhale, take it up, push through your feet, and bring it back down. Good. So try to find a pace that works for you here. There's no rush. Nice. Last one coming up. Breathe in. And breathe out. Very good. Take a moment here. Good. And let's get to the next pose. Figure four to open up the hips a little. Bring your right ankle on top of your left knee. And this might be enough. You might start to feel a stretch on your right hip, right glute area. Next option is to lift your left leg up and hold on to your left thigh. Good. We'll be here for five breaths. Flex your feet so your left toes are coming towards you and your right toes are going towards your right knee. Good, and now it's all about the quality of your breathing. Take two more breaths. Very good. Release your left foot down. Bring your right foot to the ground as well. And we'll get straight to the other side. Left ankle on top of the right knee. First option, you can stay here or lift your right leg up and hold on to your right thigh. Just flex both feet and take about four more breaths here. Good, if there's any point of tension, try to focus on that spot as you breathe. Take one more breath. Good, release your right leg down, plant your left foot down, and let's continue. Take a moment here. Good, next up is a twist. You can extend both legs out first, and bring your right knee in towards your chest. Hold on to your shins, pull your knee in as close as you can. Keep holding your right shin with your left hand, and take your right arm out for balance. You're gonna guide your right knee towards your left. Good. So the, your right knee does not have to make it to the ground. Most important is that you keep your right shoulder on the ground. Very good. And look to your right. Take three more breaths here.
Very good. As you inhale, come back to the center. Bring your left knee in to meet your right and hold on to your shins. Now extend your right leg out. Good. And pull your left knee in just a little bit closer. Good. Keep holding your left knee with your right hand. Take your left arm out for balance. And now guide your left knee to the right. But this time you're trying to keep your left shoulder down and you can look to your left. Good. And we're here. Three more breaths. Good. On your next inhale, start to come back to the center. Bring your right knee in to meet your left. And take a pause here. Awesome. You can lift your head up. Start to rock forward and back a bit. All right. Good. And make your way up and into a downward facing dog. You can get there any way that you can. Good. In your down dog, it's an upside down B. Push through your hands and try to lift your hips up and back. You can keep a slight bend in your knees. In fact, I encourage you to keep a slight bend in your knees because this helps to lengthen your spine. But keep pushing through your arms and look maybe between your feet or a little higher up your legs. Good. On your next inhale, shift forward to plank. Good. And here you're trying to have your shoulders over your wrists. Take about two more breaths here, not too long. Very good. And go back to downward facing dog. Good. Look between your hands, walk to the top of your mat. Take your time to get there, no rush. You can either have your feet together with your big toes touching or separate your feet to a comfortable position. Come up halfway and lengthen your spine. Good. Keep looking forward. Take your shoulders back and fold it back down. Inhale, take your arms up, connect your palms above your head, look up. Bring your hands to prayer at the center of your chest and bring your arms beside your body. Good. We'll do one round of sun salutations. Let's begin. Press firmly into your feet. Inhale, take your arms up. Exhale, fold it forward. Come up halfway and breathe in. Lengthen your spine. Bring your hands to your shins here. Good. And plant your hands down. Step back to plank position. Good. Nice and strong here in your plank. Keep pushing the ground away. And try to keep your strength and the engagement here as you drop your knees down. So still a lot going on here. Start to shift your body forward. Bend your elbows and bring your chest and your forehead to the ground. Untuck your toes. As you inhale, lift your chest and your head up. Nice, a very gentle back bend here. Now make your way back to downward facing dog. Good. Take about three breaths here. So downward dog is a nice way to build some flexibility and strength together. So the Keep pushing through your arms nice and strong. Pull your lower belly in towards your spine just a little bit. One more breath. Look between your hands and make your way to the top of your mat. Forward fold. Good here. Tuck your chin. You can bend your knees slightly. Come up halfway and lengthen your spine. Hands to your shins. Exhale, fold that down. Inhale, take your arms up. Connect your palms above your head. Look up. Bring your hands to prayer at the center of your chest and beside your body. 
Good. Take a pause here. All right, let's make our way down to the mat. Here you, you'll need your props. Again, you can use some pillows or some yoga blocks. Either or will work just fine. From Once you're on your back, bend your knees and lift your hips up. Place the blocks or the pillows underneath your sacrum, about where your lower back and your butt connect. But you should feel pretty comfortable. Once you're set, lift your legs up towards the ceiling. Very good. This is a great way to relax our nervous system. Settle down. You can stay just like this to add a little bit more. Maybe take your arms up towards the ceiling. Very good. And stay here for about three more breaths. Nice. To make this active, flex your toes towards your body and really extend your arms up towards the ceiling. Have a deep breath to finish. Good. Release your arms and your legs down. Lift your hips up, put the blocks to the side. Good. And straighten your body out. Take one breath here. Good. And let's move into fish pose. Bring your arms underneath your body with your palms facing down. Nice. And point your toes first. Then use your forearms to lift your chest up and take your head back. Good. Not here long. About three breaths. Keep lifting your chest. Open the front of your neck. And last breath here, point those toes. Start to make your way out. Let your arms out and take a breath. All right, from here, prepare to rest. Extend your arms beside your body, palms facing up. And you can separate your legs as wide as your mat. Really find comfort. Feel supported by the ground. Then gently close your eyes and focus on each breath that you take. This is a chance to rest and recover from all the movements we did through class. And every breath that you take, try to relax your muscles. Try to melt into your mat. Bring your knees in towards your chest. Hold on to your shins and gently rock side to side. Very good. And make your way up to a comfortable seated position. Once you're there, close your eyes, bring your hands to your knees. Be sure to thank yourself for your efforts through class today. Bring your hands to prayer at the center of your chest. Thank you for flowing with me. And I hope to see you soon.